Have you ever wanted to make juggernaut drinks that you can actually drink? Hey guys, what is up? It is the World Changer here. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Today, we are making a juggernaut drink from Call of Duty Zombies in celebration of Black Ops 3 coming out, which is in a couple of weeks. And this is especially cool if you pre-order the limited edition juggernaut fridge because you can put the juggernaut drink inside that fridge and it will be like you have a juggernaut drink. It's so, so cool. So the drink I'm using is the Cascade Lemon Lime and Bitters. It's the perfect size and it has the perfect color. If you don't have this drink near where you live, don't worry. These stickers are universal for this type of bottle. So you can just go ahead and buy a drink that looks like the Juggernaut drink in your local store. So a lot of people have been recommending using alcohol beverages for this so that it looks more realistic. But there's two reasons I don't like that. One is that it's so much more expensive. It's like $5 a bottle. And two, I think that for me, I just don't really like drinking alcohol because it makes me dizzy and tired and kind of, I feel like I'm being a bit disabled when I drink it. So yeah, I guess I'm just still a kid. I like to drink fizzy drinks. So today I'm going to teach you how to make the four pack as you can see right here. And I'm also going to teach you how to just make the bottle so you can have the best of both worlds whether you want to make the four pack and the bottle or if you just want to make the bottle. So the things you'll be needing is obviously you have to have tweezers, trust me this is a must. Adhesive paper which is basically sticker paper you can put through a printer and I got this one from Officeworks for $10 for 20 pages. And then you'll need a pair of scissors, preferably small and big to make the process a little bit faster. But one pair is just fine. And then of course you'll need to get the Lemon Lime Bitters Cascade drink. You'll also need a printer with colored ink inside of it. So the first thing you want to do is go to your sink and fill it up with pretty hot water. You don't want it to be too hot because you don't want to break the glass. And you want to safely remove the drinks from your four pack and put it into the sink. Be careful how you remove the drinks because you don't want to damage the four pack carton. Now you'll notice some cardboard sticking up inside the four pack. You want to make sure that stays up during the removal of the bottles because that's what supports all the bottles. If you do happen to flatten the box, it's not the end of the world. It's just a little bit more hard to get the box into its original position to support the bottles. So once you've left the drinks in hot water overnight, all the stickers should really easily come off. You'll also need a credit card like card, such as a membership card or a gift card, just so it's easier to rip off the stickers after the bottles have settled overnight. But make sure this is a card that you won't use again because it will get damaged. So now that you've left your drinks overnight in the hot water in your sink, the stickers should be easy to pull off. Sometimes they aren't, so that's where your gift card or credit card-like card comes in to rip off the stickers, as you can see right here. And you also may have that problem of when you've pulled the sticker off, you'll have little bits of sticker left. You just want to make sure that you keep scraping it with your card and then keep rinsing it so that the sticker is coming off and it will come off eventually. Once you've cleaned and know that all the sticker is off from the bottle, you want to just wipe it with a tea towel or a towel. So this whole process took me about an hour, hour and a half, but it was very satisfying to know that all the stickers were gone and ready to have the Juggernaut stickers on. Now, I highly recommend that you guys make sure you get every single piece of sticker paper out of your drain before you unplug it because it will clog up your drain. So make sure you get all of it. So in order to get the images for your stickers, you have to go to the World Changer TWNL Facebook page. It'll be the first link in the description. As you can see, the first image is the four pack. Just go ahead and click on it and then just drag it out onto the left if you're on a Mac. And if you're on PC, go ahead and just download it how you usually would. I can't advise you on that because I don't use PC. So now we're on the second image. Go ahead and do the same as we did with the first one. That one's for the neck and lids. And now we're gonna go on to the third one, which is the logo and the lids. And just go ahead and click on it and drag it like the others. And that's all you have to do with the Facebook page. And while you're on the World Changer TWNL Facebook page, make sure you like the page to keep connected with me. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to message me. So now you wanna go ahead and print it by double clicking on the picture clicking file and then go all the way down to print. Now this is how you do it on a Mac. Do it how you would usually do it on PC. Click preview 
Now click media and quality and then click best because we want it to look the best possible and then go ahead and click print. You want to repeat that with all the images. Now that you've done printing all the images onto your sticker paper, which is adhesive paper, all you have to do now is cut up the stickers to fit onto the bottle, which is the Juggernaut bottle. So we're going to cut up the four pack images first because it's a bigger sticker, so it needs to settle longer. Make sure you take your time to have the best looking four pack Juggernaut there is. So once you've finished cutting up the main four pack sticker of a juggernaut, you're going to move on to the characters and you're going to cut them up into four nice neatly squares. As you can see, I've highlighted where you need to cut in order to have the perfect cut on your screen. Once you've finished cutting up the four pack stickers and the characters, you want to go ahead and grab the Lemon Lime Bitters four pack case. From there, you want to go ahead and grab the four pack stickers and this is where the tweezers come in to help you peel the sticker. And the main four pack sticker with the juggernaut and the arm is going to be used on the right side of the four pack case to cover up the text that says Cascade Lemon Lime and Bitters. As you can see here, I've placed my thumb right here on the four pack to indicate how far the sticker can go without it overlapsing onto the other side of the four pack case. Once you've done that, you want to go from the bottom right to the bottom left all the way up to the top of the four pack case and just keep pressing down with your thumbs to press down the sticker. Then you want to move on to the characters that's going to cover up the left side of the four pack. I always start with Dempsey on the top, Nikolai second to the top, then Takio, and then Richtofen. It's the order in which I think looks best. So starting with the Dempsey sticker, just gently place it right next to the Juggernaut sticker. And then just push it down with your thumb to make sure it's firmly in place. Then you want to move on to Nikolai. Make sure it's firmly pressed with your thumb onto the four pack. And then do the same with Takio. And then last but not least, Richtofen. Firmly press all of these with your thumb. Now if you stuff up any of the stickers, don't worry. I have done it before as well. Make sure you reprint them and do it again because the four pack is going to be the one that's recycled a lot. And you're going to be looking at it nearly every day, every time you go to get your drinks. Once you've finished stickering the four pack, you want to go ahead and grab a book and flip it on its side so the stickers are facing the table. And you want to put a book in between it just to let the stickers settle while you move on to the bottles. Now when cutting up all the stickers for the bottle, you want to leave a white outline on every sticker, the label, the logo and the lid. Now when cutting the neck label, you want to leave a little white line just below the red uh, just to make it look a little bit nicer and I think it looks really well that way. So in order to get this white line, you just want to cut where the scissors are cutting right there where you can see I'm leaving a white line just below the red line and it really makes it look really nice. So do the same for the lid as you can see right here and then move on to the logo as you can see right here. Now once you have cut up all the stickers for your bottles, which includes the neck label, the lid, and the main logo, grab the bottle and then grab the sticker for the lid. So now in order to get the stickers centered with all the other stickers, you'll fill two long lines on the side of the bottle. And these are two little bumps and you want to make sure that the Juggernaut logo is facing directly on the smooth side, not facing those lines. It just gives it more of a professional feel. As you can see right here, I have the logo facing right between the lines. Now keep in mind, not all bottles will have these lines, so only some of you will need to do this. So now that you've put the sticker on the lid, you just have to center the other stickers along that sticker that's on the lid. Now when it comes to the sticker for the neck, what you can do is before you peel the sticker, you can wrap it around the neck to make sure that the printing went well and the cutting of the sticker went well. Now when it comes to the sticker for the neck, you want to make sure that the sticker hits just under the lid where the Juggernaut sticker is first at the top and then you make your way around the whole bottle. So onto the main logo part, what you want to do is you want to grab the sticker and put it on the top right or top left of the fat part of the bottle and just smooth it down from the bottom and then towards the left and it just really makes it really flat and there's no bumps. And then that's it, you've done the bottle. So we're going to do this with all four bottles that we're doing today and we're going to stop halfway through this. So we're going to do only two bottles and we're going to go check on how our four pack is settling with the stickers. So as you can see here, I've taken off the book from the stickers and it looks very, very nice and settled. So you just want to go ahead and do the other side like we did before. 
So once you've finished stickering the four pack, you wanna go ahead and put the book on the fresh side of where we just placed the stickers. And while that's settling, you can go ahead and do the other two Juggernaut bottles. So once you have finished stickering all your bottles, you can go back to the four pack and take the book off. Now, if you still are struggling to keep the sticker on because of weather or anything, there's one other thing that you can do. I use blue tack. As you can see right here, you only need just a little bit, just a snippet of blue tack. Now you don't want to put the blue tack on the edge of the sticker. You want to make sure that it's a little bit inside there so that it's not shown on the side of the sticker. And if the blue tack is being shown on the side, don't worry, just grab the tweezers and pull the blue tack from the side where it's being shown. So now your four pack has the Juggernaut logos and your bottles have the Juggernaut logos. There's one more step. So the final and last step to this whole Juggernaut project is to put the Juggernaut drinks into the four pack Juggernaut case. And then you are 100% done, guys. Congratulations! That's a my zone! <laughs> Now that you have finished making your Juggernaut drinks and Juggernaut case, I would absolutely love to see them. So make sure you take a photo of them and send me them on Facebook and Twitter. Twitter is at TWC TWNL. The links will be in the description. So there you guys have it. That is how you make the Call of Duty Zombies Juggernaut drink in real life. And it's all drinkable because it is the lemon lime and bitters drink that we I showed you earlier in the video and during the video. So it's very, very cool. So you'll be able to put it in your Juggernaut fridge if you've pre-ordered the Juggernaut fridge. If not, you can still just drink it out of the fridge and it's still really cool, especially for the whole Black Ops 3 theme coming out. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like this video, share it on Facebook and Twitter to all your friends, family and followers. And if you have any questions whatsoever, make sure you ask me in the comments or on Facebook and Twitter. Do not hesitate to ask me because I would love to help you as much as possible with this project because I think it's a very, very fun project to do. That's all I have to say for now. As always, the world needs love. Don't forget where you come from. Don't die holding on to your words. Cause you know that you got a whole world to change. But understand who you gotta change first. Put them up, up, up.